So my father, without going into the story, just got literally taken over. He was possessed by Watiko. I didn't have the idea or the name for it when I was a kid, but I experienced, like any sensitive kid, the energy of, of you know, that my father was like a conduit for some sort of like this malevolent, darker force that would take him over and then he would become the vehicle to act that out in the world. And being the only child, I was the recipient. And so, you know, and that process so impacted me and, and became in a sense internalized within my own psyche that I've just done such, you know, so much, I mean, inner work every day, 24 seven for 40 plus years that I've added awareness to that you know, in a way that that part of me that could potentially get activated to compulsively act out that same s- seeming entity that took over my father that could come through me. It was very much like being bit by a vampire and having, and then you potentially become a vampire. Mm-hmm. But the point is, and, and sometimes I'll even share this in classes I'll teach, I'll say, yeah, like I feel like that I'm like sort of reauthoring the vampire myth because what if somebody gets bit by a vampire? Because when the worst of the, the abuse happened, the emotional abuse, psychological abuse, I woke up the next day with a fever for a year and there was nothing physically wrong with me. 